Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I'm going to do a bit of an experiment. It's going to be a Dutch pour. Um, I've got a commission coming up. Um, the client would like um, a Dutch pour, but really wavy Dutch pour, a bit like a dragon. Um, so like a Chinese dragon, the body of a dragon. So really up and down undul and undulating. So I've just had this idea. What would happen if I did a Dutch pour like that um, in a line, but instead of using a hairdryer, I just blew it all with my breath. Um, so I, the, I, the aim for this is to try and create slightly smaller undulations. The hairdryer really determines the size of the, the petals or the undulations. Um, so I want smaller. So I'm going to try it all with my breath and just see what happens. These are the colours I'm using. Um, it skews the bottles. I now put all of my Dutch pour paint in um, old shower bottles because they're great. You've got a cap. So you can squeeze it. I can pick that dry paint off and then squeeze it out. Um, and it just doesn't seem to get as gungy as when I used to store them in little pots. Um, so the base is going to be this Amsterdam Persian Rose. And then in the design, I've got Amsterdam Sky, Sky Blue Light, Amsterdam Primary Siam. This is Pebio Studio Acrylics uh, Payne's Grey. And then two De La Rowney colours, purple and pearl white. So they're all mixed with Flood Floatrol. I'll put the recipe in the description of this video. I'm using an unusual size canvas. It's 20 centimetres by 50 centimetres. It's a reused canvas. So um, I've just, it was a painting I didn't like. So I've just applied a coat of gesso and that just, it makes it quite rough. It's not a very nice feeling, but it makes it rough. So it means that I'm able to put more paint on and it will, it will stick to the surface. Um, so I'm going to use the Persian Rose as the base colour. So I will use the hairdryer just to blow this colour across the canvas. Just torch that, there's just a few air bubbles. Right, I'm going to put some of the um, pearl, the paint spray down first. Um, I think I'm going to do a slight waviness in this. Not too much, just a subtle waviness. just a small amount of that blue let's go for some sky blue light and I like to not do totally straight lines I like to wiggle it around I'm going to put some pearl white down Oops. that's a bit much there I'll probably blow that bit over and then the purple Right, so I'm just thinking, where should I start? I'm going to start at this end here. So I think what my plan will be is to blow the paint into the largest negative space area. So there and there and there.
Right, it's really pretty. It's not the dragon that I was intending at all. So the effect is totally, totally different blowing it by mouth instead of by with a hairdryer. Um, but I want to expand on this a bit now because I really like the size of this section here. So if I can expand this a little bit more, I think I'll be quite happy. So the only bit I'm not happy now is with this bit here. It's just too dark and too wide. It just doesn't seem to balance what's going on up this end. So I'm thinking I might just remove just a little bit of that. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to do it with my finger. It doesn't need to be a lot, just a little bit. And then if I just put some pink back down. And then I think that is straight away better. It just looks a bit more balanced now. Right, I'm going to torch it. I don't always torch, but I, I'd quite like to because I think it might create some pretty cells at, just at the edges. reminds me of um, a flowery garland um, it's so pretty it's somehow quite I think the pale pink it just reminds me of ballerinas um, just it's quite elegant um, it's really pretty it's very simple um, the colors work fantastically together so basically blues and pinks um, let me show you up close um, so you can see where I have torched because you get lots of tiny little speckles and little tiny little cells. Um, I guess I'm a bit disappointed there aren't any or, or aren't many proper cells uh, just created by the paint um, interactions. Um, but you've got a few like like here. You've got a few little um, details in there. Um, I love how choppy it is. Um, I really like the, um, you've got a general sort of wave, but then you've just got lots of choppiness. Um, the colours are just perfect. Love the colours. Um, I think it would be interesting to do this again, but add some silver because silver often creates lots of cells. Um, it's definitely not the kind of dragon that the client is after. Um, I think I'm going to have to just stick with the hairdryer for that. Uh, I might have another go, but... Um, yeah, really pretty. Not what I was intending to, to create, um, but we'll see. I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry. I am so happy with it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, it's just so elegant and dainty. Um, really, really pleased. Um, I often don't like um, on a Dutch pool where you can see the little bits that have been blown around with breath. But because the whole thing has been blown around in the same way, it all blends. Um, so what I mean is if sometimes if you have a large petal and then it's just blown around in one section, um, it, it, it stands out like a sore thumb. But because every single little petal here has been blown around in the same way, I just think it works so well. Um, let me show you up close. Oh, sorry about the light. What's happening with the lighting? I'll put it flat on the floor, see if that helps. Um, if I go, I'm in my kitchen. I'm just trying to find the best light. I'm sitting on the floor. Maybe that works. So let me show you up close. So the details are so pretty. The colours just blend perfectly. It's just this lovely big wave of squashed up flowers, I think. So I think it really does look like a garland of flowers. Um, it's really iridescent. Let me find the sunlight here. No, that's too bright isn't it can you see just here you've got some of the the pearl white in it and it just it just sparkles throughout oh, there we go you can see it there 
So just at little points throughout, you've just got this beautiful touch of iridescent paint. Um, I quite like it in a portrait um, position as well. Um, so there you are. Let me know what you think. What do you think of this? Um, I'd love to know what you think of the design, the composition, in terms of the, the size of these little petals um, and using my breath instead of the hairdryer to, to blow this around. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.